6 9 is the most hated rapper of all time. At first, 6 9 had hip hop in a chokehold, pulling millions upon millions of views with his music, pretending to be a part of a blood set in New York City. He would pay people to be in his videos to make it seem like he was official. In reality, that wasn't his character. When 6 9 got caught up with the law, that would change everything because he would end up snitching and show the real him. But he would state he did it because the people he was involved with wasn't loyal. Even though his reason for telling was because people weren't loyal, he knows what he signed up for. At this moment, he would know the street life wasn't a game when he got kidnapped. Give me every Get out. Get out. Get out. Get in the car. Get in the car. Fast forward to after 6 9 would come home, he would develop beef with a lot of people, and it wasn't a good look. It was several rappers he would take shots at, but in an interview, he would take shots at Blueface and Trippy Red. Because, blue, no, because, because because as an artist, first of all, Blueface sells 12K. 15,000 records. With, first week. With, no, no, 12K. <laughs> like, this is like a little boy to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. Trippy's album is, we're signed to the same label. They're holding off his album because he doesn't have a single and he sucks. Like, literally sucks. <laughs> like, this kid sucks. What was the last record Trippy put out? But Topanga. I like the Topanga song. Topanga. I'm, not, was, I'm not gonna lie. I've never I, heard that it. was before I went to jail. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was before I went That's to jail. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. gave me a record that released in 2018. Right. And I like Topanga. It's a one song. That's the one song that I fuck with. It's I'm a not fucking lie. Lie. At the end of the day, you're giving me a, the last hottest record that Trippy released was in fucking 2018. Mm. The last <laughs> hot record Takashi put out. It was this year. Then so, in the same interview, he would speak on Lil Dirk. Like, yo, bro, Dirk got this song with Drake and thinks he's like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like this kid. Like he leveled like, up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he, like, like he's like, like this is still a, a I feel like he's a, still a Chicago drill rapper. That's, that's, that's the level I put him on. Like some FBG duck type of nigga. Like, you right, know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Dirk isn't the type to respond to anything negative on the internet. But in an academic interview, Dirk was asked about 6 9 He kept it brief, but he would say this. I don't take serious. Like, the one stuff, I had a conversation with him. And I said, listen, see, they going to do that. They going to throw. It's called clickbait. Well, you know. Everybody going to talk shit. Everybody want to sell records. Everybody want a name. Everybody want to stay popping. How did you feel during that? Because I felt conflicted. I'm, I'm I thinking. never gave a fuck. Like, I never, ever gave a fuck. Even when people are, like, they're disrespecting. That's your, that's, that's your, like, your bro, bro. You know what I mean? So, like. But it's like, what I'm going to do? <laughs> you think I'm going to hop on there and tell you I'm going to kill you? You think I'm finna do an, an interview? When I when I catch you, I'm knocking you the fuck out. You already know that's happening. So it's like, I play my game. I just sit back, watch. I like don't know what's going on. Oh, he just said this about Dirk. That's what Dirk post. India. Some shoes. I'm not like I, I'm not I'm not falling for that shit like. 6 9 was blackballed by the industry at this point. The disrespect wouldn't stop. 6 9 was taking things to the next level. This and King Von, Lil Snoop, and Meek Mill at the same time. That when I die, I'm boosting a murder rate. No, you not, nigga. Your niggas don't care about you. Yo, wasn't there a video they stole all his jewelry? 
After Vaughn died, they stole all his jewelry, his own man's. Rest in piss, nigga. All y'all niggas, tell Meek Lil Snoop, rest in piss. His uncle killed them, Meek just kept rapping. Oh, you invested money into that, nigga. Rest in piss, nigga. Niggas bugging, nigga. Niggas, my mouth is reckless, nigga. Gangster. That didn't age well, though, because Meek and 6 9 were running to each other. Security was all over the place, so nothing crazy would happen. But 6 9 is having close calls because someone could have crashed out at any given moment. Oh, you the best, nigga. You the best, nigga. You the best, nigga. I'll fuck you up, nigga. You the best, nigga. All y'all niggas pussy, nigga. You the pussy. Give me locked up. Weirdo. What y'all weirdos want to give me locked weirdo. up? You clown ass nigga. Why the fuck y'all even bring that clown over here? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? What y'all in trouble? What y'all fight? What y'all trying to get me in trouble? After all the trolling, all the taunting, and all the disrespectful things set on top of telling, 6ix9ine would go to a gym unaware of the danger he would approach. He got caught lacking and jumped in the bathroom. Three people are arrested and booked after allegedly beating rapper Takashi 6ix9ine at a Florida gym last week. 43-year-old Rafael Medina Jr., 23-year-old Octavius Medina and 25-year-old Anthony Maldonado were arrested on Thursday and booked into the Palm Beach County Jail. Investigators say the trio assaulted and robbed the rapper in an L.A. fitness. That's crazy. That's crazy. The rapper, whose real name is Daniel Hernandez, was allegedly attacked after getting out of the sauna. At the time, his security was not with him. His attorney says he tried to fight back, but the group ran off after gym employees were approaching. Done, bro. Yo, homie, I'm, a, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm a fan, bro. Yo, I'm a fan. I'm just saying, bro. I'm a fan, bro. I know, I'm not, I ain't jumping, bro. I'm just After that, Takashi 6 9 can be seen on the video walking away with blood on his face. In a statement, his attorney said, quote, he had cuts to his face and bruises. Following the attack, the rapper was taken to the hospital. But ever since then, it's been bare minimum information of 6 9s whereabouts. He must be under the radar and had enough from all the negative energy he's been dishing out. Even still trying to be MIA and low key, he would have little encounters with the law. He would be pulled over for speeding. It seemed like it's just been all bad for him. Uh, there's all, there's all the paperwork. Like, you gotta get it for me. What, what do you mean? Your license and registration. I, I don't know which which. Registration insurance. Yeah. License plate. Registration insurance. Okay. But take this license plate. Just give me the registration insurance. Okay. Uh, vehicle registration. Uh, no, the insurance should be here. Uh, facts. You say you don't have the, your driver license? No, no. Uh, I mean, you, you come to my house all the time. It's, it's, it's my uh, Danny Hernandez, 5896. Do you, have, do you have your license on you? Or no? I, I said no like three no. times. Spell your name? D A N I E L. D A N I E L. Yeah, -E -E that would be the last encounter of 6 9 well to me. The man is hated by everyone, so I guess that would be the best thing to do is stay away from the social life.